Well, offensively, I thought we had, did a great job of having explosive plays. We did a really good job of pushing the ball down the field. Guys did a good job of coming up with some plus 25-yard passes and, you know, plus 12-yard runs, and that was always, uh, that's always good. Defensively, you know, they flew around to the football. Uh, we had a turnover. On, uh, they caused a turnover on defense with a good interception. Uh, they pressed the pocket up front. Defensive line did a good job of constantly causing pressure the entire night, flushing our quarterback out the pocket. So overall, we did some good things on both sides of the football. Sounds good. Uh, uh, your coaching staff has had to have done a great job because the guys look like you could barely tell that these guys were very new in the offense and defense. Uh, talk a little bit about some of the things that they've done. Well, the guys did a good job of buying in and trying to come in. We simplified some things on offense and also defense, uh, which hopefully will allow us them to play a little bit faster. We still got a long way to go, but I think we're making progress. You know, with 15 practices, we can only do so much. We'll come back in the, in the fall camp and we'll have about 30 or so practices. So we hope to build off uh, what we did in the spring. Sounds good. Coach, was this, was this your first look at these guys at this speed, or have you had some of this in practice? Well, we had some of this in practice. We've already had two scrimmages, but it was the first time we was able to, you know, kind of get a game-like feel. You know, sometimes when you get those fans out here and, you know, you get the tailgating going, you know, guys kind of tense up, the energy is a little bit higher, you know, the adrenaline's pumping a little bit. So uh, that was always, that's good to see kind of who can kind of play under the bright lights and who may, uh, you, know, you know, succumb a little bit. You know, you certainly inherited a good one in Adrian Wilkins. Yeah. Do you, do you see yourself needing to draw up some more plays for that guy? I ain't no doubt. I mean, he's a guy that he got to touch the ball. We got to find creative ways to give him the football. And we got to have some guys step up on the perimeter as well and in the backfield to help him out. You know, he can only do so much. He can't be a one-man show. So that's the challenge going into, you know, the summer, see who wants to step up and be the next playmaker on, on the offense side of the football. And, you know, this actually will be a good thing, but do you see yourself being forced with a tough decision in terms of the quarterback? I think so. That's always a good thing, like you said, though, John. Uh, you know, having two guys that can do some things. The good thing is they're so different, too. You know, so, you know, they get, provide a good one-two punch, so to speak. Tell us what are some of the things you thought you did well and some of the things you thought you could improve on. Uh, you know, I thought we did a good job running the football. Um, and I think our short passing game um, was a real big part of early on. Um, our, of our success and then you know as we went on the game we stretched out the defense more downfield um, hitting some long balls and also our screen game you know really helped us today also Adrian Wilkins whenever you get the ball in his hands you know something special is going to happen yeah speaking on Adrian Wilkins he's one of those guys who makes big plays and uh, coach talked about possibly drawing up a few more plays to get him involved in the game plan uh, tell, tell me what your impressions of him uh, being that you got a chance to spend some time with him in spring Oh, I mean, from the first day in spring, you could tell, you know, he's a special player. And, you know, that's what, when coming here in the, in the semester, at the start of the semester, you know, a lot of people have been telling me good things about him. And, you know, the first day of the spring was just, you know, it was unbelievable. And, uh, you know, we, we need to get him the ball more. I think that's a big part of our game plan, so. Sounds good. Uh, not, I know you're in like a little bit of a competition at the quarterback uh, position. Uh, tell us a little bit about what that's been like and your friendship with that guy and uh, how things are working out. Oh, I mean, all of our all of us quarterbacks, you know, we all have a great relationship. Uh, Matt Goggins and also Malcolm Bell. We, I think that we all the thing about us is we're all competing, but we're all helping each other out. And I think that's the most important thing is that we're all getting better every day. And, you know, you can ask our, our quarterbacks coach, Coach Taylor, you know, we're all making steps every day, getting better, making quicker reads or, you know, giving a ball or giving the receiver a better chance to catch the ball. Sounds good, man.
you know, as, as thick as the competition is for the quarterback spot, I saw you out there cheering on Malcolm when he was making a great play. Oh yeah, that's. I mean, I go back, go back to talking about how you know, we're we're trying to help each other out, you know, and that only helps out the team. So, as I mean, as all of us getting better, I mean, that only helps out the team. Thank you.